Hey folks, this is Captain Chris Myers of Central Florida Sight Fishing Charters. If you're staying in Cocoa Beach and you're looking for saltwater flats fishing, inshore fishing charter, why not consider coming up here in Mosquito Lagoon, only 30 minutes away. You can see it's a beautiful place. You don't have to look at condos, hotels, and houses. It's inside the Merritt Island Wildlife Refuge. We have redfish, sea trout, black drum all year round. That's what we target. We use light spinning tackle and fly gear. Right now I'm using a little DOA 3 inch cow lure, 10 pound braid, and we're stalking redfish. Right up in front of us is some redfish, so let me give you a little uh, idea of what's involved and what you can do when you come on a fishing charter. So you can see the fish moving right up here in front of us about 50 yards or so. Now we try to come up on them really quiet if they hear us coming. We're only fishing in knee deep water even though yes we are out in the middle. It's knee deep water in front of me as far as you can see. And these fish are digging down in the bottom. They actually have their tails up out of the water so we can see exactly where they're at. So when I cast, I know that I'm casting to fish. There was two groups of them. One of them is right over here and they're moving. The other one is still up here with their tails and backs up out of the water. So we're gonna take this little jig, we're gonna throw it across them, reel it back up into them, and we'll show you what some redfish look like. Now, the other group just spooked the one group they were going to, so now the two groups kind of merge together. Maybe they will slow down for us, maybe they won't. On the fishing charter, you would be standing up here fishing, I would be standing back there where the camera is, pushing the boat with a long pole, so we get up on them really quiet. Right now we're having to use an electric motor. So we have those two schools, and up in the distance, about another 100 yards, another school of redfish with their backs and fins up out of the water. So these fish stay up on these shallow flats all year round, and we can target them 12 months a year, provided, uh, obviously, that the weather allows you to get out. But the good thing about this is, unlike offshore fishing, when it's too rough to go offshore, we can still fish inshore. So there's very few days where it's too rough that you would not be able to fish inshore at all. So we're still making our way over to the fish. The one group of fish that we were going to cast to started moving off. They obviously heard us coming. Hopefully they don't run into the other group and spook them up. The two groups are merging right up here now. You can see the funny disturbance in the water. When it's slick calm, it's really easy to see these fish from a long way off. When you get a little chop on the water, it uh, makes it a little more difficult. But we can also see these fish down in the water using these polarized sunglasses. If you come on a fishing charter, all you need is whatever you want to eat or drink, your sunscreen, appropriate clothing. I provide all the licenses, tackle, uh, baits, lures, ex flies, etc. All you got to do is step on board and get ready to fish. So these fish seem to be pretty happy. They're about two casts away. We're going to sneak up here nice and slow. If we try to go too fast, they definitely will hear you coming. So the, the key to success out here when doing is stealth, speed, and accuracy. You gotta be quiet enough to get close to them. Once you're close to them, you gotta hurry up and cast because they're gonna get out of reach. And then it simply boils down to the better you cast, the more you're gonna catch. There's probably 50 or so, 50, 75 fish in this group up here. Uh, the second they see this thing, one of them's gonna bite it. If I land in the middle of those fish, they're gonna uh, explode and take off because they know their food does not fall out of the sky. So what I wanna do, is get this just past them, get it up to them, and just barely hop it along. So we're almost in range here. So now you get a good taste of what it is uh, sight fishing the flats for redfish. So I'm going to wait till I get on the other side of these fish so that I don't land in the middle of them. You see it's pretty quick once you get it into them. There goes the rest of the school coming by the boat. About 50, 75 fish swimming right next to us down here. We could reach down and poke them. So this guy's trying to follow the school and keep up with his friends. So we're going to get him in here real quick. 
Most of the fish in the school will be relatively the same size. Some of those fish I saw swimming by were 10 pounders. Some were four or five. There's fish out here that are 30 plus pound redfish all year round. So hopefully he doesn't shake off here at the boat. I'm using a barbless hook on this for catch and release fishing. There you go, there's our Mosquito Lagoon redfish. See how easy that jig falls out. Give you a close up view of this guy. So here's an average Mosquito Lagoon redfish. They're a beautiful color on them. You can see how quick it is once you get into them. And he's off. So if you're looking for a fishing charter in Cocoa Beach, you can give me a call 321-229-2848. You can check out my website at flatsfishingtrips.com, the link's below in the description. Or you can also subscribe to my channel for more fishing instructional videos.